Lights, camera, action. Um, Don and I just poured our glass of wine. And uh, cheers, Don. Cheers. Thank you. Let's take a sip. Let's just take a sip. It's good. This is good. What's the name of this again? Jam Jar. Jam Jar. Y'all, get you a glass of wine. This is good. And try this. It's delicious. So now we're getting ready to just have our little girl chat. Um, girls with cocktails, okay? So get you a glass of wine. And we're just going to get into it. So we'll be back. Okay. So... My girl Don here is fly, okay? <laughs> we met, we connected instantly because she's fly, okay? And she and I are both, we're professionals. We work in a professional environment. But the one thing about it is when I saw her, I knew immediately that she just had a aura about herself and just owned her own beauty, her style, all of it, okay? It made, it made me want to be like, who is this girl? Let me <laughs> let me know who she is because I got some questions. Okay, y'all see the earrings. This is this is from her repertoire. Okay, <laughs> so Don, let me ask you. When yes. like okay, tell me about your style and have you always been into style and fashion and like what really? What's your whole? What's your take on style and being yourself? Ooh, I think for me it's um. You know being authentic i feel like my style is like painting mm -hmm. it is really like me using my um my clothes as art i feel that in the professional setting you don't get to always be an individual right. so this is my way of being an individual and almost being a bit of a rule breaker but using that in a professional setting because i like bright colors i like bold colors and I think that's a way for me to kind of express my individuality. Yeah. And I think that's a, a tough thing for me, too, because I, I came up black suit, gray suit, brown suit. <laughs> right? Like, I feel like you always had to follow the rules. And if you are a minority and you're in a professional world, you I'm sure you can relate to the times where you felt like you were scrutinized. So every decision you make has to be pretty intentional right. down to the nails the hair yes like so i don't know if you've noticed this but i have seen way more women women of color embracing like braids what's your take on braids first and foremost i will say like ever since i came to um i don't know if we're gonna say our, we're our name okay so the company that we work at right now um they have this is the first time in my whole entire career where i've embraced braids never had felt comfortable to kind of show up in my natural yeah state and so it is a beautiful thing because for us, for black women, braids, it's like, it, it really gives us an opportunity to kind of put our hair to rest. Yes, Lord. Because I know for me, like, I get you sis, sis that are, are natural. Look, the, the natural game has been a struggle for me. It's real. It, like, whether my hair is popping off from the curling because I'm trying to straighten it or whether the, you know, I just can't do the nap. It don't work for me. I don't do a... Uh, or wake up and rinse and, and go. Don't work. And it's not for everybody. And I think that's a... I'm glad you brought that up because, like, y'all, let's just get to the point where we can just be comfortable being ourselves. It don't matter. Natural, relax. We're owning it, okay? This yes. is what we're all about. Yes. Whatever works for you, sis, do it. Mm. Whatever makes you feel good, sis, do mm. it, okay? And we're going to celebrate you in that, okay? Right. Let's, and, let's say can that. I say that's the one thing I really love about Shanae and you, um, because you truly will allow and celebrate women for just reminding them to show up as themselves wherever they are. And sometimes you need that. Shanae has been my that push for me. And that's why I feel like we are like, um, what is it? Were you say spirit, spirit? Spirit sisters. Spirit sisters. Because you remind me. It was like when we met and I found out her birthday is the same day as my mom. It was <laughs> crazy. Instant. In her style, she is so bomb. And colors, and Shanae just shows up as herself. And it reminded me that it's okay to show up as yourself, you know, and just live in that. Yeah, I love it. And I mean, y'all, if you are fortunate enough to be in environments, working environments with other Black women or women of color, 
I hope that you're having you're finding yourself having these same connections because a lot of us need that extra support mm -hmm. and it feels good when you have someone in your corner that's going through the same things you go through um and and just be able to kind of have that extra person you can go to be like girl something ain't right about this and it's a safe space like everybody needs a safe space and I find that it's beautiful to have that with another black woman. It's, it's an amazing yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, so I know we went on a tangent, but let's let's get into some things because now we are really kind of going naturally into the conversation about like your journey as a professional mm -hmm. black woman. Y'all, Dawn is super successful, okay? She's young. She is smart. Mm -hmm. Everybody relies on her. She's like, she has so much information and I don't even know how she does it, but she does it. And she makes it look so easy, but we all know that we all have unique journeys to where we've been and where, we, where we're going. Like it's been a unique, unique experience getting to where we are. So Don, like tell me about your experience as far as like, you know, you went to college and you went into the professional world. How was that transition for you going out of college into the professional world? And have you felt like, a pink elephant in the room. And when I say pink elephant in the room, the the regular sense of feeling like an awkward person in spaces and environments, like what has that been like for you? Oh yeah, I think there is, uh, there was a time where I really had to refine my voice and appreciate my voice and hearing my voice, speaking up for myself. I mean, I think um, when you go through college, it's so interesting because I felt like I was, I had it all down pat, I knew what to do. And then you get in the real world and you realize that all of those things that you thought you could bring, yeah, you can't. Right. You can't. <laughs> right. And you really have to figure that out fairly quickly if you want to survive. And the one thing about me is like I am a researcher. I love to research. I like to learn. And um, like yourself, I seek out people who I want to know. And I seek out people who are doing things that I want to do. And see, and some people will sew. Right. And I have my mentor, who she knows. I always talk about her. Um, so I think, I think as African American women, we don't have people that sponsor us, right, and mentor us. And so finding yourself a sponsor, finding someone that will mentor you is, it is incredible. It's it's like, it is absolutely necessary for us because you don't know it all. Exactly. And it's okay to say you don't. You know, so if you have someone that has done it and is doing it and they are willing to share and impart knowledge, go for it. It's invaluable. Yeah. It's invaluable. So uh, Miss Rosalind Fleming is my mentor and I know she has mentored so many other young, young women, but I totally, you know, in terms of her poise, her class, I was like, who is this lady who just speaks? Yeah. And she owns her voice because the first time I heard my voice, I was like, I'm not sure. Yeah. My voice is not sure. So I had to go through an experience and I failed. You know, the whole point of growing is that you are going to make mistakes. But sisters, learn from your mistakes. Capitalize on them. Write them down. Seek to do better. Find out how to do better. Don't make that mistake again. That was good. I mean, as you were talking, it made me think about just the power of being vulnerable mm. um, and being able to say, like, I don't know. Can you help me? Mm. And I think we don't always feel comfortable enough to do that. I know I have not always felt mm. comfortable enough to to say that because, you know, naturally we feel like we're we're in a positions where we have to have it all together. Like we have to make it work. We have to be able to balance our, our what's, what's going on personally, professionally. We're expected just to be these machines that just can pump out good results. But in all actuality, that's not always the case. With that being said, I, I really want to touch on like, how have you been able to balance like life and work and and just really also to the mental health part mm. about it and making sure you're taking care of yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself. Ooh. What have you done that? I think ladies, it's, it's important to take self-care, time for self, quietness with self, time with God. Um, and knowing when you aren't your best self, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Not every day are you your best self. Knowing when you're at a space where you, you know what, I need to recharge. You know what, I need to say no. Knowing I 
can't be there for someone else. I need to be there for myself. And I think growing into a woman, I've learned to also realize that she's a businesswoman. We have to have our phone. Sorry. Yes. yes. That's what. <laughs> Oh, Listen, time. people be checking it for us. Okay, sorry. Go sorry, ahead. but just, um, you know, knowing the power of no, and I think for me, it has been hard for me to realize that it's okay to be selfish. Yeah. It's okay, and I don't mean selfish, meaning that you don't, you're not sharing, but it's okay to reserve time for you. Yeah. Because as women, we naturally give. We give to everyone else but ourselves sometimes. And when you don't have anything else to give, who is going to give to you? Exactly. You know, so I think that's the one thing I think for me when I do journaling um, and really making sure that I have a practice every morning. I read this book by Darren. Darren, I think it's Darren Powell, like the power of um, small changes plus time equals radical change. And we'll link that book in the in the description box. Don't yeah, worry. it's... Uh, that formula of just small changes plus time equal radical change. So whatever you're working on, whatever you sow into, it's going to grow. So whether you are, are growing something that you don't want to grow or whether you are growing yourself, you know, making sure that you make, you're aware of those small changes, you're aware of those small belief systems. So in the morning, I would start off with 10 minutes of, uh meditation um read my bible from there or read a book that is uh about self improvement or in tune getting in tune with with yourself um and then from there i would do um really my sage and my morning meditation before i go into the day just because i want to spend time with god i want to spend time with self um and my gratitude journal that's good those are things that really help to make me kind of appreciate where I'm at and yeah. to also appreciate just the time with the time with me. Yeah. I, I love that. I feel like we don't, we feel like we can't have that. Like for whatever reason, we feel like we don't deserve to think about ourselves or we feel like we're giving something away by thinking about ourselves. When in all actuality, if we really focus on being our best selves, everyone else will get the best version of who we right are. Right there. You right know what there. I mean? Right there. Right there. Like I know for me, when I spend time, therapy, you got to get you a good therapist. Okay. Come on. You got to have a good therapist. Undermine. The, the good, the bad, the, the weird times, the confusing times, the stupid times. You need somebody that can help you really process. process. And I feel process. like unprocessed emotions and thoughts only can lead you to a place where you don't want to be. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. And we trying to, we're trying to elevate y'all. Okay. Yes, we, that part. we're trying to get to our best place, our best self. So have a good therapist. It's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Find things that bring you joy. Journaling. I love the gratitude journal. Like, I'm mm -hmm. going to do that because I think that sometimes we do have a tendency to focus on all the things that's wrong. But there's so much right in my life. Like, I'm just yes. so thankful. It's so much to be thankful for. So much. It's the small thing. It's the, it's the very small thing. So, you know, even for me. I, I'm going to take that back. I'm glad you shared that because I'm going to take that back and I'm going to implement that into my into my routine so that I can have a better lens on and perspective on things. So thank you, Don, for spending time with us today. Yes. This has been amazing. And I, the one thing, the last thing I want to do, I want to, I just want to talk about you as you are a pink elephant, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. When you walk into any space, it's no denying that you are there. You are, I just want to affirm you and let you know that you are so smart. You are beautiful. You are bright. You are have you have an infectious, amazing spirit that honestly, like anyone who knows you is blessed to know you. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give you that because I feel like um, we don't spend time enough just saying how powerful people are. And I really believe that. And I just thank you for sharing your space, sharing this beautiful earrings, <laughs> you oh, know, man. making me feel good today and just sharing your energy with me because I really believe the energy is just so it's a nice and positive energy to have and I, I really thank you for that oh, so man, I'm like I'm humbled by thank you I mean Shanae thank you so much because I think the world of you and I think you are amazing and 
um you know the same the same that you said to me is the same that i feel about you you have an infectious energy and you totally push me to think outside the box and um just kind of own be the pink elephant in the be room it. Be and it. walk into that room and be okay with who you are because you are supposed to be there and your voice no matter how it sounds deserves to be heard that's right so i mean it it, it it's a beautiful thing and i'm um I just, I hope other women really, really, I think this is such a blessing uh, for all the women that are tuning in to Miss Sinead Pringle. Uh, <laughs> the Pink Elephant is going to be amazing. And um, I'm just a part, I'm so excited and elated and in and, and, and gratitude to be able to, to share a part of this moment, so. Well, y'all, I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. We have to do this more often. Stay tuned because um, we're going to get Dawn here to show us a nice, we're going to do makeup looks, okay? Ooh. We're going to go from work makeup look, a daytime look, how to switch it to a nighttime look. And listen, if you're not into makeup, that's okay. But we're going to start small and we're going to work our way up to find out what works for you and we're going to do it together. So cheers, ladies. Cheers. cheers. Take up some space